All right, hello everyone. My name is Dan Mills, and this is Ben Adida, and we are a part of the identity team. Um, so we're going to show you some cool stuff today. Many of you may have uh, heard of Browser ID, I hope, uh, but maybe some of you haven't. And so for those of you that haven't, um, Ben will show you some of the main features as soon as we can get the laptop set up. Can we get the yeah? laptop? Is it there? No? There. Awesome. All right. So I'm Ben. Um, this is Open Photo. Open Photo is trying to replace Flickr, SmugMug, and those other, other sites by letting you manage your own photos and storing them in your own storage, Amazon S3, Dropbox, etc. It's an awesome project, and it's being shepherded by uh, Pascal Finet at the, with Web Forward. And if you haven't heard about Web Forward, you should check it out. The fantastic thing about Open Photo is they just decided to use Browser ID. So here's how you sign in to Open Photo. You click the sign in button, you get your browser ID pop up, and you get to choose which persona you want to present. You know what? Then I realize I don't have to use my real name here. <laughs> I can log in with Duck Photographer, and I can add a comment. And that's it. That's all it takes to log in with browser ID. You might notice that I'm using Safari. Don't worry, I haven't defected. <laughs> We're trying to make sure that this works for the entire web, any browser. Of course, we want to make it better in Firefox, but we're going to make it better in Firefox, not by specializing the protocol to be specific to Firefox, but by building better features in the Chrome of Firefox to make it a better user experience. And of course, we're not thinking about this just on desktop. We're also looking at mobile. All right, can we switch to the iPad, please? The Elmo. There. So um, this is Open Photo, the same site running on my iPad. And I'm just going to go ahead and sign in, just like Ben did over there. And I get the browser ID pop up. So same, same flow, just as easy. I hit sign in. And I'm back to Open Photo. I'm signed in, no passwords. This is key on mobile, because passwords are really painful on, on mobile. Um, and so you know, it works right now on mobile. Um, <laughs> you'll notice that uh, we're using HTML pop-ups to make the flow work. And uh, that's very important, as Ben said. But we also have a native dialog in the works. And so Ben can show you that right now. Can we switch we can back switch to, the to the desktop? Yeah, we're trying to make it a challenge for the IT team <laughs> over there. Awesome. So this is a really important site where you get to uh, register your favorite beer in case you forget it. Um, <laughs> we can make login better by surfacing the login transaction in the browser. So this is the browser ID add-on. You'll notice in the upper left-hand corner here, there's a sign-in button next to the URL. Now, the fact that the sign-in button is there doesn't prevent you from signing in in content. You can still sign in in content. And when you do, you now get the trusted browser door hanger that comes down with your browser ID identities. So this is much more resistant to phishing. This makes a lot more sense if you switch tabs back and forth. It's tied to the tab you're on, and you can keep going and sign in. And what you get now in the upper left-hand corner is your login status. So you know that you're logged in with that persona at that site. And of course, one-click logout right, from the site. So I want to show you one more thing. Isn't it kind of silly? that you log in in the morning to your Zimbra. Oops. And then after you're logged into Zimbra, you still have to go to other sites and log in again. If we surface the login transaction in the browser, we should be able to get a much better login experience across the web, much better than anything that's out there. So it's not just about different technology, it's better technology. So here, you, in this better world, you log into Zimbra, and then you go over to the Mozilla phone book, you click sign in, 
And ta-da, because you were logged into Zimbra, you get your Mozilla email address as an option to log in with automatically. And you sign in, and you get the phone book. And you look up Austin's picture, which is really, really important. <laughs> So imagine if you had that and you could log into all the partner sites at Mozilla. You could log into Jobvite, you could log into video, you could log into all of these with just enough clicks to disclose the email. That's the only number of clicks we want. Just enough for user control, no more. So to, this, this is key on enterprise, by the way. Think about signing into Jobvite and you know, that kind of thing. All right, so just a couple of notes uh, on future stuff that we're working on. Um, first, we're working on signing to the browser, and this is the ability to lock out your browser, the ability to switch profiles, signing in once into the browser and unlocking a keychain that lets you sign into all your sites with all your different browser ID identities. Um, and also, profile in the cloud, and this is recognizing that sites want more than just your email, of course. They want data and APIs, and we are working on a way for you to be able to give them that in a way that keeps you at the center. Um, and by the way, we're working with the apps team using web activities for that. You'll see a demo on web activities coming up from Mike Hansen. Uh, so we have uh, sessions. And please, you know, please drop by. And a shout out to the whole identity team. Um, everyone put in a lot of work to make this happen. So thanks. Thank you.